Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Mariana and I'm so happy to meet you. So today guys, I'd like to share with you my grocery haul for the month of February. I was about to say January, February. Um, so yeah, I purchased these items, like literally, I believe on the 1st or 2nd of February. Today is the 5th. Um, so some of the stuff have, have been in the fridge already, but I haven't used anything yet. So I am just gonna go through everything quickly with you all. And um, just in case you like grocery hauls, you know, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or a question in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload from me. And without further ado, let's get right into my February grocery haul. Actually, guys, before we get into the haul, I just wanted to make mention to the fact that um, I'm, I promised to make a video on vegan cheese. Some of you are waiting for that, and I do apologize that it's taking so long. It's just that since going to Tobago, I've been like back at work, and it's just a tad bit he hectic for me at the moment and the moment that I get a chance to go to a health food store because I literally have all the ingredients except one that I need to go to a health food store for so as soon as I get that opportunity then I will film the video and then have it up for you guys right also if you haven't already check out my Tobago vlogs um, I will leave my the Tobago playlist up in the cards up above me right here so y'all can check that out but after this video right so let's get into it she's a Mona Lisa everyone's lining up to see her she's a Mona Lisa everyone's lining up to see her there must be something that feeds her so let me just give you guys a quick overview of everything that I purchased it's a small haul because I already still have like a bunch of food here so I just got what I needed and also I mean this year 2021 is a year of savings so I'm going to be on only getting the stuff that I need I know you see wine there I need wine so um yeah don't judge <laughs> okay guys so you all will let me know if you prefer because i know like previously i did my grocery haul with me behind the camera and uh, um just showing you guys everything on the counter but this time around i'm just gonna stand up and show you guys like this and you all will let me know which view you prefer better and then for next month for march grocery haul we will just stick with whatever you guys prefer all right so let me know in the comment section down below bunch of extra foods for value and price mark so let's start with the extra food stuff um first up i purchased this you guys would have seen this before the lanha cozy fabric softener in the scent sweet spring um i got 48 loads and i believe this is something like hold on and this was only $25, $24.99. So, yeah, this is, I've been using this for years. I didn't use another fabric softener. This is the only one that I use. Um, so, I'm showing you guys the like cleaning products first, right? Um, so, I purchased this Axion. This is practically dishwashing liquid, but in the form of a paste. And this I find lasts way longer than the liquid, so I always buy this one. Um, they, they come in different scents, but I just have it in the lemon scent, and this was $14.99. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited about <laughs> garbage bags. What have I become? I am... I am adulting you guys. I am now excited about buying garbage bags. Here's why I'm so excited about these ones. Here's why. So these ones are apart from being biodegradable because you all know I'm all about saving the planet and minimalistic kind of thing. Not really so much but biodegradable stuff. Yeah, I'm here first um, because I mean we're really destroying the ozone layer. We need to do better, right? So these are biodegradable but guess what? 
guess you all, they are scented. These are scented garbage bags. I found them at Extra Foods and um, they come in, the red ones are strawberry scent, the, the yellow ones are lemon and the purple ones are lavender. Look right there. And these were $34.99. Yeah, I mean, I don't need large garbage bags, but they didn't have them in the size small and I really wanted to try them, so that's why I bought them. So I'll let you guys know about this in a vlog or something, right? Sif Cream Cleaner for $16.49. And this is basically to clean my bathroom and my toilet bowl. Because I wasn't finding the hot pick cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner that I use to clean my bathroom and the toilet, right? Well, I mean, at this point, do I really need to introduce this? Do I need to say anything about this to you guys again? Like, y'all should already, if you are used to watching my videos, y'all already know how I feel about this right here. Y'all know, I don't think I need to say anything, but in case you are new, in case this is your first video, then hi. My name is Mariana and I'm a Glade addict. I buy these things even when I don't need to buy them. This one is my favorite scent of the lavender and vanilla. So I'm like, I go to Pennywise, I buy it. I go to the grocery, I buy it. It's like, I, I, I don't know, I, I have a problem. Oh, and by the way, this was $13.99. You all know in Pennywise you get it cheaper, you get it for like $10 or $11 in, Penny, in Pennywise. It's just like 2 to $3 more in a grocery, right? but I mean, I, I really can't help myself, so. That's that. So I purchased this Caribbean Dreams Detox Natural Herbal Teas. It's naturally caffeine free. Um, this is what it looks like. It's $22.99. And I bought it to detox my body. And I haven't tried it before, so I'm not sure what to expect. If you guys have tried it, then please let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. But I will give you guys maybe a review in one of my upcoming vlogs. In every grocery haul, you guys see me buy kale. I buy kale every week. Uh, because I just love kale and I love the way that I prepare it and I've, I believe I've shown you guys how I prepared um, kale before so this was $15 in the grocery but if you buy it in like a market then you get it for like $12 for one and this bunch was really small but all the bunches in the supermarket were small so I just looked for the nicest looking bunch but it was really small for $15 I usually get a thick up a healthier looking bunch for $15 but maybe it's scarce now or something I don't know so you guys know I tend to um, eat mostly gluten free but when I do not I buy crisps <laughs> These were $14.99 and you get three single packs inside. Well, um, I mean, what's life without pimentos, right? How you cook without pimentos, I have no clue, but I cook everything with pimentos and I usually buy this in the market because they, you get a way better deal. But I mean, I don't have time to be going into the supermarket these days. So I purchased this bunch here for $9.25, also at Extra Foods. We're still on Extra Foods. Everything that I've shown you so far is from Extra Foods, okay guys? Look at these juicy looking. They look so juicy and healthy, right? Oh, I mean, like, I could seriously just wash these and just bite them. That's how juicy they look for me. So sweet peppers, these were $8.82. Two lovely, lovely, lovely looking sweet peppers. I need to make some hummus to have with some carrots and um, sweet peppers and stuff as a snack because I've been eating really, really, really terribly for the past few weeks, you guys. I mean, since the year has started. I mean, since December, since before Christmas. But, Fresh ginger. I always have ginger in my fridge. 
like always it's a staple for me it's really it's an anti-inflammatory i love ginger tea and the best way to drink it is using fresh ginger like i just love ginger love ginger and i'll tell you guys a little secret when i'm singing whenever my voice is giving trouble i chew raw ginger and it completely disguises the voice to make it sound as though it's perfect they have it in extra food so $14.99 a pound so i got $7.93 worth i just got a pack of peeled garlic for $10.99 i do not buy garlic that needs peeling because i mean who has time for that Onions, these were $2.50 per pound, and these were the regular small yellow local onions. Um, these, so I purchased $2.99, so just a little bit over a pound of onions. So, yeah, this. See, what had happened was this. <laughs> I know that you all can't tell what they are right now. Let me open the bag, I'll show you. They're only bananas. And I promise you, I did not get them looking this color. They were a really bright yellow color, like this box here. But what had happened was, as I said to you guys in the intro, I purchased these groceries, and I think the first or second of February, and today is the fifth. I just put all the bag with the, the bag with the produce. I put it everything in the refrigerator until I was able to film for you guys. And then this is how they came out looking. But it doesn't phase me to be honest. The color of these right now doesn't phase me because I, if you are familiar with me, um, if if you're not new around here, then you'll know that all the bananas that I buy most times when I purchase bananas majority of it i literally have very rarely just eat bananas i always freeze i buy bananas and cut them up and freeze all to and have them in my freezer for smoothie making so i always have bananas in my freezer so yeah this is also a staple and this this was I purchased $26.40 worth of bananas and these were $6 a pound. Chef Mate Vanilla Essence, you guys have seen me using this one before. This was only $8.49. This is literally the cheapest vanilla essence that you'll get in this size, 750 ml. So yeah, $8.49 and it works pretty good. It like, tastes like vanilla and everything. Last but not least, from Extra Foods, I got the Nestle Coffee Meat Coffee Creamer, powdered coffee creamer, in the flavor, the original flavor, and um, it is fat free, so zero grams of fat, which very curious to know, like what they did with the fat. It has 10 calories, zero trans fats, just which blows my mind five milligrams of sodium and zero total sugars so if they don't put any of these things in it then what is in it to make it sweet so they say zero sugar right but in the ingredients the ingredients clearly states sugar so but anyway it's non-dairy because you all know i don't deal with the dairy stuff non-dairy lactose free cholesterol free gluten free sugar free is like what is it really made of that's all from extra foods now let's move on to true value which like it's not a lot um so remember a little bit earlier in this very same video when i said i purchased the sift to clean my bathroom and the toilet bowl because i couldn't find harpic well, I found Harpic Active Fresh Mountain Pine Scent. You guys, this is such a beautiful scent. This smells so good. Like this is literally the only thing that I like to clean my bathroom and my toilets with. 
but for some strange reason it's a bit scarce these days and i'm only seeing like the lanhill versions of these and the lanhill versions i'm not going to lie they are cheaper but they do not smell great so i feel like it's very difficult now for me to find this i was really 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 happy that i found it at true value so yay true value this is something that you all will see repeatedly in my hauls, right? Because you guys have seen this before, but I purchased two boxes of the gluten-free, the Ron Sony gluten-free penny pasta. This is the one that I buy like every month. And one box of this would last me for a month, you guys. So um, I didn't find it in Extra Foods and Extra Foods is the supermarket that's closer to me. So I decided to pick up two boxes. So one would last me for this month and one would be for next month. You all won't see this in another haul, um, in my next grocery haul. So yeah, it's basically made with white rice, brown rice, corn and quinoa. So it's gluten free and these are always $17.95. It comes in handy to make like the vegan cheese that I promised you all that I'll be making soon. I have to put um, cauliflower in it as well as I sometimes make like crispy cauliflower, which you guys would have seen before in my past, um, like what I eat in a day video and stuff. So yeah, um, cauliflower is just a staple when you're following a vegan diet, you guys. But I won't lie, like I have not been really following a vegan diet up lately. But I need to get back on track, and I prom I probably won't be like won't ever be like 100% vegan. But just 80% of my diet is. It's important that I at least follow a vegan lifestyle, a, a vegan diet at least 80% of the times for health reasons. Two local cauliflower I got, one was $14.35 and the other one was $13.30. So, right there. And that's all that I got from True Value. Now on to Price Mart. Remember when I said that I'm only getting stuff that I need, right? For this year, because I mean, this year is a year of saving and getting back on track. Well, if you know me, then you know I need wine. Like, it's not a want, it's a necessity for me. So, um, feel like if you're new here, let me let you know. This is like a judgment free zone. So, do not judge me. I need wine. Anyway, this what is the barefoot fruit scatter in the flavor strawberry. Y'all? I've had strawberry wine before. I've never had it from Barefoot, but the Alaskan, I brought home an Alaskan wine um, that was a strawberry flavor, and oh my lord, that wine is so good, so, so good. So when I saw that Barefoot, my favorite wine company, made straw, they brought out a strawberry flavored wine, I just, it's like, no ifs or buts or maybe, I just needed to try it, right? I just needed to have it because I know it's going to be so good. Yeah, I had to try this one and um, this was $109.95, so $110. Cheaper than the supermarket, hence the reason why I went price mart to get it. Hello. And believe you me, you guys will get a review of this in an upcoming vlog. Y'all, I'm thinking about doing like monthly vlogs now, now that I'm back home from um, Tobago, I'm thinking of doing monthly vlogs, so bits and pieces of, because I mean, realistically, I work most of the time, and my days aren't very exciting, so I feel like if I take like bits and pieces of my month and put it together and make a monthly vlog, let me know what you guys, what you guys think of that. Y'all know me with my prego, y'all have seen this before. I bought it again, <laughs> right? This was $48.45 and this is the Prego Italian sauce in the flavor of fresh mushroom and you all know, well, I told you guys this before but when tomatoes are in season, when we get them cheapest, I always buy like fresh tomatoes and make my own um, tomato sauce but I feel like it's not in season right now so Prego it is. I bought this really large pack of black beans that was $33.95 from the brand Pepe's Nature Pride. 
Um, so y'all may be asking or wondering. So she lives alone, but she bought this ridiculously large pack of black beans, four pounds. Well, um, I know I haven't really discussed this with y'all much, but I kind of started a food business and get into more details with it for you guys. But yeah, um, these are basically to make burgers, black bean burgers. Last but not least in my grocery haul for the month of February, I could Look, you guys, please don't judge me. You know that I'm used to being good and I usually buy the cornflakes, but they didn't have any cornflakes, so I opted for the frosted flakes only because they didn't have the cornflakes. So I'm sorry if I disappointed you, but they didn't have the cornflakes. I promise, I'm not gonna lie, they did not have the cornflakes, and if they did, I would have bought that one. But this was what they had, so I just picked up what they had because I'm not going back soon. So this was $69.95, which is also a full $20 more than the than the cornflakes that I usually buy. But um say what? I mean this lasts well the cornflakes last like two months. This probably won't because it's sweet and I like sweet things. This is from the brand Harvest Mills. And that's it. The grocery haul is kaput. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or a question in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And be sure to click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload from me. And you guys, I will see you all in my next video, which would possibly be my um, Pennywise haul. I'm about to film that next. Not sure which one I'm posting first, although I feel somehow I'm going to post the grocery haul first. But I mean, if I post the grocery haul first, then next Wednesday, you'll see the Pennywise haul. If I post the Pennywise haul first, then... Since you are watching this and you haven't seen the Pennywise wall yet, check up in the cards here first. Okay, bye! Mwah.